This is Steve McMillan in the Denver Post newsroom with a look at today's headlines. Sources in the Denver Police Department said this morning that District 2 Officer Selena Hollis was the person killed in a shooting last night at a jazz concert in City Park. Hollis, 32, was the president of the Denver Black Police Officers Association and was off duty on Sunday. She was shot in the head while trying to break up a fight as the concert was about to finish at 8 p.m. Police said they have a man in custody who will be in court today for advisement on first-degree murder charges, but they won't say if he is the shooter. Updates on this breaking story will be available all day on DenverPost.com. The Supreme Court today struck down key parts of Arizona's immigration reform law, but a Colorado immigrant rights group said it is worried that the court lets stand a provision allowing police to check the status of anyone they believe is in the U.S. illegally. Alan Kaplan of Colorado Immigrant Rights Coalition said leaving the status check provision in place allows police to continue racial profiling. The ruling is just one of a number of important decisions expected this week, including a ruling on President Obama's landmark health care overhaul. Wildfires continue to rage across the state as the mercury rises toward what looks to be another 100 degree plus day. The Waldo Canyon fire burning near Manitou Springs was at more than 3,400 acres this morning and 0% contained. Fire officials called in four specially equipped C-130 military transport planes to drop fire retardant. Meanwhile, the High Park fire west of Fort Collins has destroyed at least 248 homes, burned more than 83,000 acres. Thousands of homeowners remain displaced this morning as firefighters bear down on the north and southwest sides of the conflagration. At least 10 forest fires were burning in Colorado this morning. A bit of good news to end today's newscast. The Colorado Symphony Orchestra is set to announce that internationally acclaimed conductor Andrew Litton will join his staff as artistic advisor. Litton will be responsible for programming the orchestra's major concerts and he will conduct at least two performances during the regular season. CSO Board Chairman Jerry Kern, who helped pull the orchestra back from the brink of financial disaster, said signing Litton is akin to the Broncos acquiring Peyton Manning. Here's hoping he has a couple of rain concertos among his repertoire. That's today's DPTV highlights. Be sure to tune in again tomorrow at noon. Have a great day.